You are very stupid. Who is your man? Am I old enough to be your mother? If you are looking for your mother, you go to the village. You look at a young lady like me, you are calling me ma. Be careful. Baby, yeah. for my birthday that is coming up, I hope you are going to get me an iPhone. Ah, <laughs> don't worry. I'm going to get you the latest iPhone in town. Are you serious? Yes, of course. Promise. <laughs> I promise. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Richard! So this is true? Please calm down. It's not what you think. Baby, who is she? Is she your mom? Who's your mother? Baby, calm down, please. Ah, Richard, baby! What's going on here? Hey! Shut up your mouth. If I hear a mouth again, I will deal with you. Small girl like you, you're supposed to be in school on your parents' house. Look at you moving up and down with men in the hotel. Small girl. Richard, upon all that I have done for you, I spend my money, you just lavish my money from hotel to hotel with all these young small girls. You promised me that you're going to remain faithful to me until we get married. And this is how you pay me back. Look, it is over between us now. I'm it sorry. is over. I'm taking you to your house to pick up all that I bought for you. Where is the phone I bought for you? Please. Let me have the phone now! Please, Where I'm is sorry. the phone? Let me, I said let me have Baby, it does not look into this. Hey! Shut up your mind. Oh yeah, let's go. Let's go! Okay, let me let me get my shirt. Which shirt? I'm not giving you your clothes. You are going to go naked. Yes. I said this way. I can't go like this. Since you decided to be naked with all women, you are going to be naked. Or if you argue with me, I'm going to video you and send it to the world. Let okay. it go viral. Okay, let's go, let's go. Be careful. I said this way. No, 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 no. I have told you. Enough of this, your nonsense. It has come to an end. Stop. Don't take me. Please, let's just go. I must pack everything out of that. Oh, we can resolve. No, no, no. Don't you hear me. Stupid man. Enter there. I'm talking to you. Hello, Richard. Hello, Richard. Hello, Richard. Hello, Richard. Hello, Richard. Hello, Richard. Good day, ma. You are very stupid. Who is your ma? Am I old enough to be your mother? If you are looking for your mother, you go to the village. You look at a young lady like me, you are calling me ma. Be careful. Floris Moses. Your own husband is somewhere waiting for you to make the right decision. Who are you? Well, I am Prophet Silas, the prophet of truth and justice. I can see in the spirit that you are not yet married. How do you know? <laughs> in fact, you have encountered a lot of men in your life, both the good, the bad, and the ugly. I can see a name, Harrison. Yes, Harrison. He took your 50 million and left this country. Is that correct? Yes, yes. You thought you could use money to get married to him, but you took your money and ran away. I saw another name, Mark. You bought him a car. Yes. So that he can marry yes. you. Huh? Eh? Yes, yes. But he took the car, ran away, and you didn't see him again. Is that correct? I can see him. You have tried wooing a lot of men with money so that they can marry you. But at the end, they will always run away. Is that correct? Yes. Let me show you. You are the cause of your problem. But how? You have one single problem. And that problem is pride. You treat people around you as trash. You treat men with no respect. All those men, all those guys that have been coming into your life that you thought you would get married to, you think you can use your money to control them. 
You don't have a single respect for them. You make them to feel less of a man and you think they can stay. Good men have come your way before now. But because of your character, they have left you. God has sent a lot of good men your way. But your character won't let them stay. Even as I speak to you, the right man for you is waiting for you to make the right decision. It is not yet late. You can still settle down with your own husband. But you need to make the right decision. Thank you, man of God. You are the only one that have told me the truth. I have never had this before. I thought all this problem I have been having is from my village. Now I am hearing the truth from you. Please, what do I do? Well, you need to start being humble. You need to start treating people with respect and value. If you can be humble, the right man God has destined for you will locate you. Okay? Thank you, man of God. God bless you. So, this has been it. All this time. <laughs>